Hi there. Good morning. Um, today I'm, I wanted to talk to you all about um, personal energy and power and um, how we choose to spend it or how we choose to let others spend it for us. Um, been dealing with it a lot lately. Um, going through all these changes, this new direction in my life that I'm going on. And um, in the past, it would have really bothered me. Um, and I think this new outlook on it has been very beneficial for me, so I wanted to share it with you. Um, talking about people in our lives, situations in our lives, um, that disrupt our norm, our everyday uh, behaviors, um, things that we do, so on and so forth. Um, and I know I'm not the only one that struggles with this, so I figured it'd be a good topic for today. Um, but I personally have a situation with um, someone who comes up periodically, randomly, um, whenever they want, and dangles a little kind of threat. Um, above my head and in the past um, it in a way controlled me because of how I reacted um, all of a sudden my mood changed all of a sudden I panicked and stressed and worried and whereas before uh, I wasn't. I was relaxed. I was calm, uh, enjoying life. And then this threat to disrupt my life um, would come in and everything would go to shit, basically. Um, and this last time that it was dangled in front of me, I chose, oh well, uh, do what you got to do. Um, live your life, dude. Whatever. <laughs> you know, um, it's not going to affect me because I'm in charge of what affects me. And that's my personal power. That's your personal power, too. We all have choices, life's choices. And I choose, I kind of always have chosen to look at the positive side, um, the bigger picture, um, not to say that I lived in a fantasy world where nothing bad ever happened, um, or I saw unicorns and rainbows everywhere, I, I did see a unicorn one time, but anyway, um, I'm just kidding, <laughs> um, but I'm not, uh, living my life like an Eeyore. Um, I don't look at the world like it's never going to work. Um, don't try that. Don't do that. You're going to fail. Don't, um, don't think that way. Uh, you're being stupid. Or, you know, um, well, you know, Eeyore. You know, it'll never work. I lost my tail. You know, that kind of thing. It's during this COVID time where we have been forced to stay at home and have all this extra time on our hands. I have really noticed huge positive changes in the world, in, in myself, my family. Um, I'm not saying that it's not difficult. 
I would love to go out freely and see my friends, maybe sit in a restaurant and have a meal. Um, I love to people watch. So, you know, I love to be able to do that and, and just socialize. I'm very social. Um, I've always been accused of being a social butterfly, you know, but, um, I'm, as I noticed my tattoo, <laughs> and, oh, and I do have clothes on too, by the way, just, this is not one of those <laughs> videos. <laughs> um, but I've, I miss not being able to do certain things like that. I hate having to wear that mask. Um, it shoots my breath straight up alongside my nose and up into my glasses and it's a pain in the ass. But um, I miss seeing people's smiles too. Um, but I've learned to appreciate eyes more. And they really are the window to one soul. You can see a lot. You can see the smiles. You can see the anger. You can see things that I just didn't really pay attention to before. And I've heard more birds. I've seen more wildlife. I've seen bluer skies, clearer skies, less smog um, during this time. So... There's a lot of positives. I've gotten to spend some wonderful time with my son outside doing projects. I've seen how amazing he is, how smart he is. He's got great talent with his hands for fixing, building, creating. Um, I am very much enjoying that. So I'm very grateful for this time, honestly. Um, and the time that I'm given to self-reflect and find out what truly makes me happy and what truly is a benefit to my family and how we can move forward. And when people come and they dangle these little threats to disrupt what has become my norm, in the past, I would react. I would panic, I would freak out. I'd be like, oh no, no, don't do that. Don't, you know, this last time, I very easily was able to say, whatever, do what you gotta do. Be who you gotta be. Uh, you don't affect me anymore like that. You're not going to take that power from me to cause me to have a ruined day. Uh, have a changed attitude or mood um, I'm not going to go for it that's my choice that's where my power comes in my ability to say ain't gonna happen worst case scenario um, I move forward quicker in my life's journey than anticipated Maybe I'm moving too slow. Maybe I'm taking too much time because change is kind of scary. Uh, the unknown is kind of scary. But it's also very exhilarating too. Very exciting. Very just, ah, uh, I got to get out there and see what's up. I got to live a life. I don't want to be stuck in that same mode that I have been for so many years where I am combated with an Eeyore that, you know, my hopes, my dreams, my desires aren't met because they're never going to work. We can't afford it. This is just not going to happen. It, you know, it's not a good idea. All this stuff. How do we know? How do we know? Unless we try. And so I challenge you, if you are in a position 
where you have an Eeyore in your life and you're knocked down every turn you try to go, every bend in the road. Um, think about it. Is it worth it? Your life experience, your journeys, your fulfillment, are they being met? Uh, do you need to maybe put your foot down and say, no, I'm, I'm living my life and I choose to have a good day. I choose to experience this world and not be afraid of it. Um, if I fail, okay. Uh, I'm a fighter. Uh, I get back up. And when I get back up, you need to be ready because I'm coming back up with a much more intense focus to fight that fight and to move forward and to not let my dreams, to not let my desires be shoved on a back burner anymore. It just isn't going to happen. And um, fear uh, is something that I... Uh, don't have much more of when it comes to things like that. Uh, being around that negative energy draw of Eeyore brings you down too. Here's your energy level up here. Everything's good. We're, you know, not perfect like I say it's not all rainbows and unicorns and whatever but more realistic I mean at least there's still some hope there's still a possibility and I'm up here and the energy drain is down here low vibe and it starts to pull yeah they're sucking up my energy to feel better about themselves but they're bringing me down. They're bringing me down the whole time. Could be bringing you down too. If you're experiencing this, then I challenge you to self-reflect during this time. Really think about it. What is it that you want to do? What is it that you want that makes you happy in life? And if you're being held back from doing that because of somebody else, I'm not talking like a child and responsibilities like that. Um, but uh, it could even be just a situation. Then possibly remove yourself from that situation. But think about it. It's not for everybody. You know, I'm, I'm not saying, you know, jump out of your relationship, jump out of your job, jump out of your house or whatever. You know, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, look inside. You need to be fulfilled. You need to feel passion about life. There's so much out there. And there's, it's so much more than just a nine to five job, paying the bills and what I call just surviving. You need to live. And I have been living my life and I've enjoyed very much living my life and the one that I am creating now and um, the dangling threats that used to, like I say, cause me to react in a negative way, I'm not doing it anymore. Like I say, do what you gotta do. Um, it's, it's not going to break me. Just push me forward. Maybe I need the nudge. Maybe you need the nudge. Who knows? But anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about today. Just 
who we choose to give our power to, what we choose to give our power to. Um, are we going to let it make us or break us? Um, hopefully make us. <laughs> All right. Have a great day. Bye.